There are new questions tonight about security at a Dallas nightclub and the armed guards they hire. Two armed guards, 27-year-old Eric Hansen and 25-year-old Deterius Haggard, were booked into jail tonight on murder charges. And now CBS 11 has learned Hansen already had a criminal record. Aaron Jones, live for us tonight outside of the Dallas Police Headquarters with this story. Aaron? Ken, Dallas police say this all happened just before 3 a.m. outside of Ecstasy Cabaret. Several people watching as the armed security guards fired multiple shots. One man even posting the video on social media. We are airing it tonight, but warning, it is graphic. Yeah, look at this. Cut. When Dallas police arrived at Ecstasy Cabaret, 34 year old Jason Hill was already dead. A Facebook Live broadcast captured what happened. Don't let who leave. Police say witnesses told them Hill was trying to leave the strip club after getting in a fight when armed security guards Eric Hansen and Deterius Haggard approached his truck, attempting to stop him from hitting an unconscious man in the parking lot. Watch this, y'all. This is crazy. Look. Police say Hansen told them the truck hit him and then he started firing. Get out of the road, lady. Right there, right there. Yeah. Oh, we shooting. We started shooting, y'all. Haggard joined in. And as Hill drove away, the shots continued. Oh, still shooting. Every shot I just counted. Boom, 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 boom. And I was just wondering why. In my instance, I kind of I got to come home. You know, I got to, I mean, I was beat up and badgered up, but I got to see my family, and they never will. Oh, no. Still shooting. Senseless. Jalen Bell, a military veteran, feels for the victim, saying last May he was assaulted by security guards at Ecstasy after getting in a verbal fight with another customer. And then punched need in my ribs. He says he made a complaint and contacted police. Today he learned one of the security guards, Hansen, has a criminal history, serving time in prison for a 2010 burglary. Their process for vetting the security guards has to change. If it doesn't, we'll wait another six months and you'll be hearing something else in the news. Still shooting. And his suggestions for improving security, hiring security guards that A, don't have a criminal history, and B, better training. We did reach out to Ecstasy for a comment tonight, but have not heard back. Live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.